Good morning. <laughs> Christian, come on. come on. Give me 10 more minutes. I know, but he just wants 10 minutes. <laughs> but he got all night last night. Okay, but he's back up. <laughs> just let me put the tip in, man. Mm-mm. And plus, we used the last couple condoms last night. Okay. Well, you're good, and I'm good. So, you trust me, right? I mean, we good, but we ain't that damn good. You're right. You're right. But there are plenty of other things we can do <laughs> without a condom. Oh, my. Okay, so I haven't even. Look, smell. See? Mm. I haven't even brushed my teeth yet. Smells like me. <laughs> okay, so I gotta pee. Okay, I can help with that. So you gonna hold it while I shake it? I'm, I'm confused. Me? We'll help each other. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus. Where's my phone? Ah! Uh, things to check. Naya to talk to. Emails to get through. Jesus Christ. I got pee. What? Yes, I gotta pee. I'll be back. I promise. Thank you. Don't get you going in there by yourself. I'm coming. Boy. So, uh, what do you have planned for today? Um, I plan on spending the day with you. Is that right, babe? I mean, that sounds cool, but um, I just need a few moments to myself if we're gonna do that. For? I can't shit in front of you yet. I shit in front of you all the time. What's yeah, the but um, I'm me and you're you. Uh huh. So um, I just need a little personal space. Okay, but babe, the whole reason why I make a point to do that is to create this whole comfortable space where we can be uninhibited and transparent. Christian, and Christian, and Christian, Christian. Everything's on a philosophy. I just want to shit in peace. Well, I thought I was your peace, but you know what? Enjoy your peace and your shit on. Christian. I can make you breakfast. Save it. Ready? Come on. Yeah. Up. Down slow. Slow. Up. Squeeze. Down slow. Come on again. Technique makes it a whole lot harder. <laughs> well, it takes time. It's a process. Uh. Whew. Now we're gonna do something together. Like, we call called hammer curls, okay? Okay. So we do like this. And go down slow. You need a smaller weight? No, I'm good. <laughs> All right, you better keep up. Ready? Come on, three. One. I was thinking we can probably do this more often. Two. Together. Okay. Three. If you can keep up. Oh. Well, I can keep up. That's me. <laughs> squeeze your arms. When you bring it up, when you're done with any like weight thing, always squeeze the muscles you're working on. Squeeze? You squeeze. Like that. So make it hard. Make it hard. Take <laughs> <laughs> me out over here. <laughs> Let me stop, because I know you have the hormones of a 13-year-old boy. 13? I'm a grown man. And always. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm taking a shower real quick. Okay. I'll uh, work on that technique. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought the breakfast was good and I look mm -hmm. great. That's a good Okay. Mm. Mm. No, I've never really had anybody show this much passion for me. Well, that's what happens when you start doing with boys and you get what I mean. Hmm. You don't have to make that plural. Just put my business out there. Okay. I mean, you've dealt with men, boys, you've dealt with girls, women, you've dealt with dogs. I come okay. in peace. Okay. All right. I'll put my guns down. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Speaking of passion that we okay. have for each other. Yes. Um, what are your thoughts about prep? Oh, like food prep? I do that all the time. No. Oh, prepping for that. No. I do that all the time. No, no. I'm talking about the prep pill. 
like pre-exposure prophylactic. It's also called Travada. Um, it's a pill that you take to mm. just protect yourself from exposure to HIV AIDS. Mm. Teach us all. Well, what if I said that I wanted each to be us or us to export it? Uh, why? I mean, our sex life is great now, but just think about what it would be like if you ever feel all of me. Mm. You know, and vice versa. Okay, so um, how often do you take this pill? Just once a day, you know. You can, I guess make it a part of your morning routine or whatever. Boom. Huh? It's going to be a problem for me. Why? I don't really do the pills. My childhood was real interesting. Dad can keep his hands off of them. Okay. I don't know. I mean, is it something that you're open to even finding out about? I'll tell you what. Since we're taking baby steps, let's take a big baby step okay. and go get tested together. I'm all for that. And then while we're there, we can inquire about these prep, right? Yeah. Right. I'm sure we can find somebody to sit down with and talk to them about our options. Yeah. Talk about about prep and our options. options and options. Yes, and get educated. Okay, and get educated together. Open, open. All right. Okay. I know some of the hard stuff. Good. It's a bill. It'll get paid, you know. I um I gotta make some money. Well, I started working. I already told you I help out. That's sweet. But I can take care of it. Cap, I'm not about to come home to some pitch dark house. And I'm not missing pose. I can help you with the bills. It's not that hard. It's not a light bill. And I told you I can handle it. That's what I I know you're this big alpha man, but you shouldn't let pride get the best of you. I mean, we're a team and there's no I in team. We're together, half and half. I feel like I'm repeating myself. <laughs> Normally, I would eat somebody like you up. I mean, drain you dry. But I want to be different. I'm trying to be different with you. What do you mean, drain you dry? <sighs> I need to get dressed. And you're about to trap me into one of these conversations and let me go. Miss that. Okay. Uh, uh. I'm just trying to do what I can. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want to tell you mm -hmm. that these past few days have been amazing. Okay. And I feel like I have so much clarity, you know, mm -hmm. freedom. And, you know, with my move coming on and everything that I have mm -hmm. before me, it's just nice that we can share this together. Okay. That's pretty good. Glad you feel comfortable and buttered up. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> All but, right. Um, I want to ask you something. Okay, shoot. Speaking of us having this open dialogue and good conversation, um, mm -hmm. you mentioned that you wanted to feel all of me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That we should start taking prep mm -hmm. with these things. So I have to ask, what's the difference? What do you mean? 
Well, the difference between having sex with a guy versus having sex with a woman. Oh, God. Come on. You can't answer that. I mean, you can't really compare the two. Yes, you can. Come on. Try. I mean, it's apples and oranges. What makes the apple the apple and the orange the orange? Seriously, I mean, sex women has its pros and its cons, and sex woman has its pros and its cons. Those pros and cons. What do you want to know? Okay, what's the pros of having sex with a man? Okay, um, it's more carnal, okay. passionate, and it's animalistic, and it's mm. two hard bodies. You know, you're sweaty. You can just <laughs> have your way with it. Okay, okay. Yeah, but and the cons? It's messy. Mm. Mm, or it can be. Huh? I mean, I'm clean. It's not about you. Just a general statement. Okay. Okay. Try not to personalize things. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then the other part is okay. the preparation. Okay. If I'm a man having sex with a man, mm-hmm. the fact that I'll have to at some point prepare is a, it's also up for discussion. So okay. that's some, not something that I really want to do. So a bit of a task, if you will. Yes. Mm. Okay. And I can avoid that if I'm with a woman. Mm. So with women. Pros. Essential. And emotional. It's all about chemistry and emotional exchange. Hmm. And their bodies and their femininity. It's just, you know how you see cats like kind of slink around on them. It's just sexy and, and all that. Women are like that in bed. You know? But the cons are, you know, they require a lot of emotional exchange and care and tenderness. And, you know, if you're not connected with that person, you don't fully feel that. Like a woman feels that it's not the same. So that leads me to another question. Mm -hmm. So, did you feel that animalistic, carnal vibe with Jabril? Mm -hmm. What? No, that was years ago. Mm. And we were young. And did you get that sensuality with him? Logan, I'm not going to go down the list of my exes with you. I like that we can have these, you know, open sexual conversations and be uninhibited and free. And I like where I'm going as I'm getting older and becoming sexually liberated. And I'm not really hung up on labels. It's never been my thing. And I just want to be with somebody that fulfills me and makes me happy and vice versa. And that's what I'm focused on. Okay. Well, we'll be fine. We will be fine. I'll be okay. You just need to be secure in where you are. And I'm going to do the same. And as long as we're open and honest and transparent with each other, we'll be fine. Got it? Yeah. We're here. We here? Yes. Good. All right, so I need to make some runs right quick. I need to set some things in order, and um, I'll probably be out a little late. So don't be sitting up all night with me. All right? Mm-hmm. Do something. All right? So where are you going? I told you I need to set some things in order to make some money. Speaking of that, I would like to ask you a question. Okay. I feel like since we are in a relationship, that we should be open, and use our communication, and be honest with each other. <sighs> what is the fucking question, this? Um, well, what do you do for money? What did you do for money? Where are you about, where are you about to go now? I'm a hustler, August. I hustle people. My family is full of drug dealers, criminals, pimps, and a whole lot of thieves. Which one of those are you? I'm a little bit of all of them. 
back in my day, I would have used you up until I was tired. Mm-hmm. And then I would have pimped you out as you're working for me. Is that what you deal with Derek and Ashley? No. Derek, I had some of my comrades help him find ways to make his own money. I don't know why, just I did. Ashton, I loved him. Still don't understand how that even happened. I met Ashton and he was the most weirdest thing I had ever saw. Looks like chili from TLC. <laughs> <laughs> he had this style that was unapologetic about himself. And as flamboyant as he was, and as weird as he was, and quirky, I really liked him. Even though he was everything I never wanted to be, you know. He had this Think about him where he didn't give a fuck about what people thought. And I found it sexy. Plus the fact, me fucking him and Fallon not knowing him. Oh, we are adding cheater to the list also. <laughs> <laughs> when I met Fallon, that was my attempt to go legit. You know what I'm saying? We got married, I was happy, and then the things that made me attracted to Fallon, she started weaponizing words against me, using the things that she knew that she helped me with to make me feel less of a man more and more every day. And instead of me feeling like this fire for her, with her words, it was like she set me on fire in the hard way. In every way she tried she, to diminish me and just Make me lesser. So I felt empowered fucking somebody like Ashton without her knowing. <laughs> and then she found out. <laughs> All hell broke loose. And that's it. That's my story. So now I'm about to go and call in some favors and see how I can make some money. Push up on some people and see. Listen, the way you cook this food tonight, I'm trying to decide if you are trying to marry me, check, impregnate me, check, or both. Check, check. <laughs> that shit was good as fuck. And the answer is C. Uh, All. Okay. <laughs> Baby steps. Baby. Baby steps. Baby. Okay. All right, California. California A. So you ready to be packed up? Uh, I mean, for the most part, yes, I'm packed up. But, okay. I mean, I'm missing one thing. What's that? You. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, that would be nice, but, you know, I can't fit in any of your suitcases. But you can fit in the seat next to me in first class. Hmm. Smooth. Real smooth, Mr. Forbes. Real smooth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. I feel, I feel like you love LA, though. The vibe is real chill, and the people are really nice, and the weather is beautiful and sunny, but I don't got time for you coming back here acting like, you know, Lisa Vanderpump or something. What? Mm-hmm. You know, when people go and move cross country, they like to come back with accent. <laughs> Hello, Madonna. What? <laughs> you don't have to worry about that at all, okay? All right. I mean, that's the one thing I actually don't like about LA. Mm-hmm. The people there, they're just so fake and phony. Uh, not all of them. Hey, Christian, what's wrong? Hmm. Logan, can I tell you something? You can tell me anything. I'm really nervous. Hmm. Like, this is this is a big step I'm taking. And I don't want to mess it up. Hmm. And I have a lot a lot riding on this. All right. Come here. Give me hands. Let me make you feel.
feel better. I'm scared. You're gonna be just fine. Okay? You're gonna be just fine. You won't have anything to worry about. I mean, that's easier said than done. I was a big fish in a small pond here. Mm. But my connects in LA are different. People love to meet up, they want to have meetings, go for drinks and dinner and all of that. Yeah. But nothing has come of it so far. But you have a proven track record. True. And I guess I am prepared for all the BS that comes along with this industry. You're right about that, at least. Well, this is probably a bad time to say this, but there's bullshit in every industry. I mean, hell, you probably wouldn't even imagine how cutthroat publishing is. <laughs> really? I mean, it's like Young and Arrested, but with books. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's like a Victor Newman and everything. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I say all this to say the music game it is really grind. Mm. And let's face it, Logan. I'm not the lightest skinned man walking in the room. And I have to be prepared for all the stigma and the fear and BS that comes along with being a black man in this industry, especially when it looks like me. Mm. Well, a black man with uh, dark chocolate skin and mm -hmm. big hands and uh, a nice chest. <laughs> Wait a yeah, second. Definitely I, got my attention. Don't I mean, be fetishizing me now, okay? Just, Respect just, me. I'm just saying. Hey, hey, hey. Respect me. Okay, okay, okay. Focus. <laughs> okay. Great talk. Mm -hmm. I have to go, babe. So, I'll be one last time. question. August. Oh, yes. I have to go. I won't make you late, I promise. Alright. Well, I've just heard so many things about what you like about those other people. But what do you like about me? What do I like about August? When I see you. I sense this pureness, but I also see a brokenness. You made something activate inside me that I feel like I need to protect you. You know, I want to be there. I want to be a better person when I'm with you. With everything going on in my life, You are the one thing that makes me feel important, like I matter. And that's what I like about you. That's the nicest thing anyone's ever said to me. Okay, okay. All jokes aside, mm -hmm. you should really be happy about this, okay? You're about to get a new roster of new talent. You're going to be on a new coast, the West Coast, and you're going to have some new money. God willing. And on top of that, best of all, mm -hmm. you got Naya. And she learned everything from me. <laughs> and see, that's what makes me really nervous. Mm. But you are right. You I'm getting in my head. And as soon as I get there, I'm hitting the ground running and I'm not stopping for anything or anyone. Let's go. I'm going to be work focused on work and committed to making us work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 What's up? You got quiet over there. Well, I'm also nervous. 
What's going on? Talk to me. How do you think this bad coastal thing is going to go? Like, I feel like somebody's going to get the short end of the stick and at this rate, it's going to be me. Anything. Anything is possible, Logan. I believe if two people are committed to being with each other at the same time, then they can make it work. I mean, are you having doubts? No. Are you sure? Yes. I just don't want you to feel like you need to overcommit yourself to me. Like I'd rather our friendship stay intact. Okay. And I know I'm going to try to fly to you as much as I can whenever I'm free. And if I can't come to you, then I'll fly you out. You don't have to worry about that. I know your schedule is more flexible, but we'll make it work. Okay. You good? Do you trust me? Because I got you. Trust me. You got me? Gotcha. See, I'm glad that we can have these open, honest conversations about our fears and just be 100% transparent. Doesn't it feel beautiful? So, what's the dessert? Ice cream, or you? You need the top. All right. Talk to me. What's up? Okay, I lied. You lied. Yeah. Okay. About what? The whole Gary situation. You lied about what with the Gary situation? I mean, it wasn't a whole thing. Um, okay, so do you remember when I told you that, you know, after I shot him, I left and um, a lot was on my mind, there was a lot going on, so I just left and came back and he was gone. Mm -hmm. um, I actually let him go. You let him go? What do you mean you let him go? I just felt like he needed to go and figure things out on his own and understand his demons and try to work things out. I just felt like it was- So you're telling me that you let a psychopathic murderer free to maybe kidnap you again, or hurt you, or kill you this time, or hurt someone else? That's that's what you're telling me that you did. That's what you decided to do. Well, yeah, and that's why I feel like we probably shouldn't be together. I mean, my wife put me in danger, it put you in danger as well too. And I wouldn't know what I would do if you got hurt. But see, what you don't get, Logan, is I don't know what I would do if something happened to you. So, I don't agree with what you've done at all or the fact that you lied about it to me. Really not happy. But I made choices, past, present, some that you know about, some that you don't, that aren't the best. So I forgive you. I mean, are you sure? I mean, this is a. I forgive you. Like a big lie, like a mega white lie. Like I could have ruined my life, yours. I forgive you, okay? You need to focus on forgiving yourself. I just feel like it's a little bit more complicated than that. Like what if I need a little time to kind of figure things out and dig into my own deep? And you can take the time to do that. I'm going to be leaving. And you will have time here to work through all that. But what I will not do is allow you to run away from this. I'm fighting for you and I'm fighting for us. I'm fighting for our future, okay? So I'm not letting you go.
just scared. And I get that. This is a huge burden to carry on yourself. But thank you for sharing. So now I can try to be here to support you in this. But it's okay to be fruitful. And we're gonna make it through this. All right? Mm-hmm. <laughs>